with Tim Wendell, the author of High Heat, the secret history of the fastball, search for baseball's fastest pitcher. Tim Wendell, let's talk Sandy Koufax. Fast, but what really made him unbelievably hard to hit was off of that fastball, he had one of the great curveballs. Certainly. I mean, one of the incredible one-two punches in baseball. But it's funny, Stan, when you look at his career, if you just kind of look at the stats, it's almost two different guys in one. If you look at the first six seasons or so, he's kind of a journeyman prospect, may not make it, last six, seven years, lights out. And one of the guys I talked to with high heat was Norm Sherry, who caught him. And he talks about catching him in spring training, uh, I believe it's 61, and they, he walks the bases loaded, and there's no real relief pitchers. It's a road game for the Dodgers. And Sherry goes out to the mound and says, Sandy, why don't you try to hit my glove, take a little bit off the fastball, and Koufax ends up striking out the side, and that was the start of the era. You know, it's amazing with Sandy Koufax, arguably, arguably the greatest pitcher of all time, how close he was to a Steve Dalkowski type when he was a youngster. Sure. I mean, early on, people were going, what's wrong with this guy? Now, of course, you know, he's Hall of Fame. All right. More with Tim Wendell on PressBoxOnline.com 